Anyone can sit through lectures or read a book or take tests, but actually coming to a lab and applying your knowledge is much more engaging. By having digital technology, we're really showing to our students that we are changing with the times and we are advancing with our technology. They'll use this technology in their own research, whether it's in cancer biology or cell biology or uh, many different fields. Okay, I've always had an interest in cancer biology because two years ago my pap was diagnosed with cancer, so I've been interested in finding methods to also help treat people with this need and this technology helps to improve skills and hopefully methods to further that research down the road. Something I'm really interested in is studying the um, opioid epidemic and different ways that we can combat that using either medications or um, understanding the genetics of people. Having this technology will give them an advantage whenever they go into those graduate programs. It's important to have our technology updated in our classrooms. Uh, we are constantly updating the software, the hardware, the computers. It's important that we do that so that students are familiar with software programs or applications that they would use out in the careers. I'm currently helping a Connecticut Historical Society build their digital archive. It's my resume that came from Pitt Greensburg that allowed me to have all of these experiences that has put me in front of those people.